Welcome back to another episode of Whitetail Bushcraft, guys. Been in the tree stand, deer stand, as much as possible. Uh, ever since September 24th, it's already October 9th, guys. I can't believe it. Beautiful today, day today. We had about a high of 58s going on today. It was in the low 40s uh, this morning when I got in the stand. I got in here about 5.30. Uh, did have a doe come up with her two youngins. Same doe that's been coming up with a couple of herds. The first day, 15 minutes in, we had a nice couple of bucks come in. Small antlers, but decent body, but I didn't want to take one that early. With rut, then I'd be bumming. So, uh, just been kind of letting a lot pass. I'm looking for a good freezer doe and, of course, a really nice buck. But I kind of want to give you guys a channel update of what's been going on. Uh, what I was going to do in this video is kind of collage of all the scenes of uh, the different animals that's been coming out. I had a falcon trying to take a squirrel down and uh, it kind of chickened out, came down twice. I actually got it when it was on the ground and the falcon took off. That squirrel wasn't worried about that falcon a bit. I thought that was kind of funny, but a uh, fox came out, big old uh, hawk that we got flying around here and everything else. But uh, I'll just show you some scenes in this video of uh, different deer that have come up while I'm sitting in the stand, in my point of view my scene you know from sitting in the stand up here it's not always about to kill sometimes it's just therapy enjoying the weather up here enjoying the beautiful scenes Plenty of meat there, but they're young bugs. I'm gonna let them grow up. Be big bucks, I'll get them another year. If there's little ones, there's gonna be some big ones. If I was a dollar, I probably would have took it. Just to put the meat in the, in the freezer. But uh, they had small antlers, so I'm gonna let them live. 